Hi guys, you voted and filming with Annika, Annika came out on top with 41% I think. So I did and I did her makeup again because she's got different hair. She dyed it. For the second time. <laughs> second time. And if you want to know how I did this, then please keep on watching. First thing we're actually going to do is pin back her hair because we don't want hair in her makeup and makeup in her hair. I want to make it extra cute <laughs> like we did last time. The main thing we're going to do is apply a makeup base and when she came here she already washed her face and put on some moisturizer so we don't have to do that and I'm actually going to use two which is just a simple makeup base and I'm going to use the professional by benefit on her nose area because her pores are slightly bigger there so we're just going to make them disappear <laughs> so the makeup base about this much, maybe a little more on her perimeter. It is quite creamy. And then for the middle of her face, I'm going to use the professional. Not too much, just about that much. Because if you use too much, it tends to ball up on your face. And that is exactly what we do not want. Annika has actually brought her own BB cream. This is a NYC BB cream, 5-in-1, and this is the lightest color in the 01 light. We are just going to smooth that over her face with my booty blender. <laughs> and add some coverage on the points where she needs it. And because she has great skin anyway, so I want to keep this natural. And if I need more, I'll get some more. This is only damp BB blender. I'm going to use a little tiny bit more because my beauty blender is kind of soaking up the product. So again with the BB cream. Nope. And again we're going to kind of dot this on her face. And this is really light coverage which she likes. Of course, just use your fingers, but I like applying this with a beauty blender because I'm lazy and it's just a lot faster and the coverage is a little more even when you use a sponge. And it feels really good. That too. <laughs> Especially 
feelings cold. And that's why uh, BB cream is so great when you have great skin to begin with, when you want a tiny bit of coverage. Not to cover up your skin. And then just look at the areas like here and cover them a little more if you want to. Before I move on with the skin, I'm actually going to use a eyeshadow primer. And this is just the Pink Pot by MAC. And this is just pretty close to your skin color. Just to make the colors on your eyes pop. Just all over to take out the slight discoloration she has. You can see the difference here. Next thing I'm going to do is apply some eyeshadow and she actually brought her own eyeshadow palette which I really like because I wanted to use her makeup and the applicator just fell out. <laughs> this is from All Verde Natur Cosmetique. It's very very German. Very very much so. <laughs> and I'm just going to use the second lightest shade in her crease before adding a lid color. This is going to be used as a transition color and I'm using a MAC 224 which is basically just a big fluffy brush. Which is very soft. Very very soft. <laughs> and on the other side I'm just going to take off the axis with my finger of the primer. And just put that color into her crease. As you can see, that gives slight, slight definition. Next color I'm going to use is the third darkest, lightest, whatever you want to call it. And it is really, really pigmented, so I'm going to put it on my hand and kind of work it into the brush before I put it on her eyelids. Tap on my hand, work it into the brush, and then work it onto her crease. Just to make sure the pigment isn't too heavy right away on her eyelids. So tap, tap on my hand, go to the other side, focusing on the outer V is this part, which is a sideways V, hence the name. <laughs> and the second reason I'm using this brush is because it's really soft and I want to keep the makeup really soft. back and forth. Like that. And then for the <laughs> for the very darkest color I'm going to do the same. Tap it on my hand before applying. It's 
even though this is a relatively cheap palette she took me one or two euros two or three this is extremely pigmented when you do your makeup or someone else's makeup always take a moment to step back and watch what you're doing I'm actually going to get another brush. This is a Zoeva. <laughs> Here it goes down. 227, which is a dupe for the. is supposed to be a dupe for the MAC 217. It is just slightly more tapered. Less tapered. <laughs> 217 is slightly more tapered. So this is going to give a slightly less defined application that you want to use on the outside. This is the Soweva one and this is the MAC one as you can see. I'm actually going to use the MAC one with the very lightest shade on her brow bone. Because I don't want to close her eyes up, eyes up too much. They want to give her a highlight, but a matte one. This palette is very matte, which I like. Except for the third color, which has a tiny bit of sheen. That's more than okay. I always think that the key to pretty makeup, good makeup, is blend, 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 blend. And you can blend, keep on blending. As you can see, I left the space on her lid bare. I'm actually going to use another color she brought with her, which is a kind of bronzy gold shade. And I'm going to pack that onto her lid with my Sigma SS239. It just wore off completely because I love using this for packing it on the lid because as I hope you can see this is really dense and this also is quite pigmented so I'm just going to push this onto her lid If you want to keep fallout to a minimum, tap tap, tap tap and press. I always clean off my brushes on a clean white towel, so I'm actually going to use my MAC 224 again just to blend it all again. As I told you, blend, blend, blend. Just to make the transitions as soft as possible. For the inner corner, I'm actually going to use my MAC Minimalized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle with a Real Techniques shading brush <laughs> which is basically a lighter version of what she has on her lid just to slightly highlight her eyes Me. I have to 
going to apply a tiny bit more of that color I just used here because I can see it's not even. You can with a beautiful shade. Just a bit there so I can catch the light. Of course, if you want to do a really, really simple look, you can just use something like this on your entire lid with just your fingers. I'm going to do her brows. And this is the Anastasia Tip Brow Pomade in Auburn, which I think will match her. And I can kind of tweak it with maybe an eyeshadow next with this brush, which is a brown liner brush by Boozy Shop. <laughs> and it's really dense, so it's really easy to fill in our brows. And I'm really using a very, very minimal amount. Just like that, because I don't want to make her brows too dark, just want to give them some definition. Because she no longer has pink hair, so I can't do pink brows anymore. If you like the pink hair, please leave a comment in the comment section below. She's nagging me. Because <laughs> I'm trying to convince her to go back to pink. As you can see, that's giving her a tiny bit of definition. Because we're trying to keep everything soft. But I'm actually going to use a combination of the two naked concealers I own. I thought you were it. I've got light neutral and fair neutral. <laughs> and because I think fair neutral is a little too light, light neutral is a tiny bit too dark, so I'm just going to use a mix. So first with the light neutral. And then with a tiny bit of the fair neutral on top of that. That for highlighting as well. I'm actually first going to blend that with my fingers shouldn't blend on your canvas, I know, but it's way easier. <laughs> the other side. And I'm going to blend that out with a beauty blender. Going to blend it down her face. To give the most coverage around her eyes. Next thing I'm going to do is add a little tiny bit of concealer around her nose. And mix that again. Because if I make it too dark, it might come off as orange, which we don't want. Or just leave it like that. For this, I'm actually going to use my fingers. Your fingers smells like makeup. It's taken away a little bit of the blueness and added a tiny bit of coverage. Well, not a tiny bit, a little more than a tiny bit onto her cheeks. Next thing I'm going to do is bake. And this is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Loose Powder. Now I'm going to make her look up, take away any creases, take her. Booty blender. 
which is damp as well, take some powder and press it in. And only underneath the eyes. So because I've powdered her under eyes, I'm actually going to use whatever's left in the cap. This big ass brush. And a lot of you have actually asked me what kind of brush it is, this is, and I actually have no idea. I bought this as my, in my very first set I ever bought, which was a 50 piece set. And it was about 50 euros, no, 32 piece. And it came in that, and it's still one of the softest brushes I own even though it was really cheap but it is real hair and I've had it for I think six years or something and it's still amazed off so just a tiny bit of powder I've got the Real Techniques setting brush which I'm going to use for her to wipe away her bake. And what I've noticed is if I kind of slightly, slightly wet my brush, it makes it a little bit easier and a lot, lot less pulling on the skin. So I'm going to use my Fix Plus. And this is all I'm going to do. So it's only slightly, slightly damp. Can you wipe up for me? And I'm going to away the big make sure you wipe away all of the big because when you take flash photography pictures it might leave a white cast if you don't wipe away all of the excess. Before applying her mascara, I'm going to use her palette again. I'm going to use a combination of these two colors, mixing it on my hand, and apply that underneath her eyes. I know she doesn't mind this because she's used to theater makeup and things getting poked in her eyes. Also, she has very soft hands. <laughs> that helps. And if you make it too harsh, just get a lighter color and blend it out for the other side. I also really like this color because it has a, sh has a shine amount, sh slight amount of shimmer, not a shite amount of shimmer. <laughs> so as I told you, next thing I'm going to use mascara. This is by the same brand. It's a mascara and it's actually a brown mascara, a very dark brown. And all of this all Faraday stuff is nature cosmetic. So I think it's all also vegan friendly. Vegan friendly, nature, and natural. To use another layer here just to kind of darken it up a little tiny bit. I actually really like this mascara because it's quite separated as you can see. It doesn't clump together at all. Hope you can see that. And she brought another product. This is actually a highlighter, a liquid highlighter. Rose, rose tinted highlighter. 
and it comes with a doe foot applicator. Look at that color. Oh my God. I'm actually going to use this and then a powder highlighter on top. Just to paint it on her face. Blend it up with my beauty blender. You can already see that glow. You can of course leave it like that, but I'm going to glow it up. <laughs> I'm going to use my favorite highlighter, which is Max Soft and Gentle with a hand brush. Just a little. This might not be the most natural, but A little bit on her cheek as well. A bit on the top of her nose, tip of her nose. And girl, look at that glow. <laughs> Next thing I'm actually going to use is a NYX blush, and this is in Dusty Rose. I haven't used this in a little while. But it's absolutely gorgeous and it just gives a kind of flush to the skin. Like it it's really a natural blobby color. I'm just going to slightly blend it with that highlight so you see how fresh that is? Next thing I'm going to use are some lip products. I'm actually going to use two MAC lipsticks. This is Twig and this is Jubilee. And they're both pretty nude, but this one's a little too red. And this one's a little too nude. So I'm actually going to use Twig first, just straight from the bullet. She's slightly darker than her own lip color. She has a really defined lip line, so using the bullet is really easy. Just going to rub that into her lips a little bit. And then use Jubilee on top, which is also a little bit more on the shimmery side, so a little more hydrating. A little more natural. So I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm going to take her hair down. These awful clips, sorry. So, we want to thank you for watching Annika and her mustache with my hair. It's, it's a lovely mustache, it's a lovely mustache. So, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> if you have any suggestions for a third video with Annika, please leave them in the comment section below because she loves me doing her makeup and I love doing her makeup. And she changes her hair a lot, so as I said, I want to get her hair pink again because I loved it on her. There are very few people who can pull it off that good. Vote. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.